Hello Space Engineers, welcome to this 3 minute tutorial today looking at ejectors. In the toolbar configuration, ejectors can be found in the collectors group, which also contains connectors. Now I'll just pop that onto my menu bar and we'll have a look at the different types. First off, we'll look at the small grid ejector. This is a 1x1 one one block that can fit into a small conveyor system, allowing it to eject things such as ores and ingots. Next we'll jump into the control panel, make sure the ejector is turned on and powered, and then we'll select the throw out option, which then will mean that it ejects anything that's inside the block, which is currently empty. So to get our resource into the block that we want to eject, we select the collect all option. And now it'll gather those resources up and throw them out. And here we can see the opposite of an ejector being a collector, which allows the resource to go back into the conveyor system. Next we'll try to put an ejector onto a large grid conveyor system. Unfortunately ejectors are only available in the 1x1 small grid version. However, we can put a connector on and have the same functionality. Going back into the control panel, we can turn on the same options of throw out and collect all, and we have ourselves a large grid ejector. This same setup can also be used on the small grid version to allow connectors to eject items that are larger than the one by one limitations of the ejector block. So far we've been collecting and throwing out everything that's in the container, however quite often it's just waste product that we're wanting to get rid of. So we can set up sorters as a filter. Here I have another couple of containers with a sorter on each one to show you how the settings impact the efficiency of the ejectors. The sorter on the right has the drain turned off and is essentially just a filter. So the connector is able to use the collect function and get the maximum amount out. Whereas the sorter on the left has a drain function on, which does act as a bit of a bottleneck, transferring the filtered materials from the container into the connector. The other thing that can reduce the effectiveness of ejectors is when it gets blocked with the materials that they're ejecting. In a gravity environment with a side mounted ejector it's not really a problem, however in a zero g environment the material does tend to eventually clog the head up. One of the ways we can get around this is by placing a gravity generator and having it produce negative gravity to repel the ores away. There is an object limit for things like ores to ensure that not too many are left floating in space and affecting game performance. You can adjust this by going into the advanced settings of the edit settings when loading a game. And now when there's a surplus of objects, the game will automatically despawn the oldest ones. That's all we have time for today. I hope you got something out of it and enjoyed it. Hope to catch you again next time.